Hello YouTube. Out today to play with a black powder pistol. This is a percussion pistol. Um, gonna show you guys how to load it, how to shoot it, what to do with it. It is a 50 caliber pistol. Um, so anyway, here goes. First thing you're gonna do, obviously, here in protection. Um, before I shoot a muzzle loader, the first thing I like to do is cap it off. Um, that's where you put in a cap. Okay, so just put a cap and point it in a safe direction and fire it off. And what you're doing there is you're actually making sure that your nipple is clear into your fire channel. Okay, so uh, how to load this thing. Uh, once you know your channel's clear and all is good, um, you need a few things. You need powder. Um, I'm using 2F powder um, in a pistol. Um, usually smaller calibers, under 50, you'll use 3F powder. But 50 and above, I tend to use 2F. That's rifle powder. Um, and this is real black powder. And so I charge my powder measure here with my real black powder. Okay. This is 25 grains. Um, and the general rule of thumb for most black powder firearms is to start at half of the caliber. Um, so if it's a 50 caliber, you start at 25 grains and you work up to the equivalent of the caliber, which would be 50 grains because this is a 50 caliber. So your powder first, second, uh, a patch. Um, and I just buy these pre-cut, these are uh, pillow ticking, pre-cut round patch. And um, you wanna lubricate the patch. And I'll explain that in a minute, but um, so for this guy, I've just got this, uh, ordered this from a place called Track of the Wolf. Um, it's where I get all my muzzle loading stuff. And it's mink oil, and it's uh, it's just a lubricant. It's all it really is. Um, and it, a tin like this will last forever. There's the container, mink oil. Okay, so take your lubricated patch, sit it on your muzzle, okay? 50 caliber pistol, takes a 50 caliber ball. So we take 40, it's a 50 caliber ball. It's actually 0.490 so that there's room for the patch here. And then you need a ball starter. And the easiest way to do this that I've found is to sit it between your legs and against the table so you have both hands and you put your ball starter there and give it a, if I can get it to sit in my lap right, <laughs> and give it a good whack. Now get your ball just below flush. Now once you do that, you can take the long part and it's pretty easy to get it going. And that's just a ball starter. It's actually made for rifles, but I use it for my rifles and my pistols. And here's the actual ramrod I made for this gun because uh, it didn't come with one. And we're gonna ram that all the way down, okay? Um, you wanna make sure it's tight against the powder, okay? Now you're loaded. Uh, the one thing you're missing is a cap. So put it at half cock. Cap it. And from this point forward, it's loaded. You wanna make sure you keep it down range. And then I'll aim down range at my target and squeeze the trigger. And we get ignition. And that's how we fire a black powder percussion pistol. Um, the spent cap, this little copper piece, this little spent cap will be on the nipple. Sometimes it'll actually be in the recess on this hammer. If it's on the recess in the hammer, you wanna dig that out. I keep a little pick in my muzzle loading bag. Um, if that gets caught up in there, sometimes it won't ignite the next cap. Now between shots, and you'll see I've got this, oops, drop it on the ground. I got this kind of dirty rag. It's uh, wet, it's actually got some like soap on it basically. And what you wanna do is you wanna run this down the barrel. And back a few times. And what that does 
is it cleans the fouling out. Um, and the whole point for the mink oil is to help soften up that fouling. And that's a bit of a tight fit. So I need to adjust my ramrod. Um, may actually use the one that came with it. So I bought this off of, uh, off of Gunbroker and it did not come with the original ramrod. So it's, uh, anyway, first time having it out the range to see how it does. And, uh, but basically you want to run that up and down and get some of the black powder fouling out of there so that the next round's easy to load. Um, some people do it every two rounds. Some people do it every five rounds. I do mine every round. Um, and I'm just sitting here casually shooting. Um, and for me, that 25 grain charge has almost no kick in this big heavy pistol. It's a lot of fun to shoot. So let's do it one more time. Um, take our 2F powder, press your button on your flask here, get your 25 grains so and you can see that's a nice coarse black powder um, I'll put a little bit out in my hands just to show you 2F is a very very coarse powder um, 3F will be a lot finer than that um, and it's all natural so you just throw it on the ground when you're done if you don't want to reuse it take that Pour it in the gun, right? Set your powder measure to the side and then get you a patch. And again, they sell pre-lubricated patches. They cost more and I'm cheap. So I buy dry patches. Um, I used to, and I still do for some of my guns, um, instead of using pre-cut patches, um, just take some really thin cotton shirts, old shirts, and uh, those thin old shirts, you literally just uh, use those. And the old timers, they would actually take the shirt, put it over this, get the ball started. And once they got the ball started, they would cut it off with a patch knife. Um, I don't bother with all of that. Um, I just use the pre-cut patches. But it's a 490 round ball, um, and that gives you room for your patch. And then you can either hit this or you can press it. I've always found it's easier. I'm going to try pressing this one. Nah, it doesn't work. I, I, I just can't do it. It always works for me to hit it. And once you get it started, once you get it started, it's pretty easy to go. Um, always make sure it's all the way down, though. That's the big thing is to make sure it's all the way down, okay? Um, if it's not firm against your powder, you can have some, some real boo-boos. All right, so then cap it and one more shot. Um, and some people will hold this like that. Um, I may try it. I've never tried it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but aim. Pull the trigger. And uh, that's how you fire a percussion muzzle loading pistol. Um, the only other thing that I don't have out on the table that I use, and I brought this out just to show for the video, but this is a typical one I use for my 50 caliber pistols, just a cheap little open ended. But this also have this guy here with the funnel. And so you can swivel the funnel, fill it, swivel the funnel back, pour it. Um, you know, it works pretty well too. I tend to use that with my um, smaller pistols, but with this 50 cal, it's just easy to use this guy. The only other thing I don't have it here is, is a little pick. Um, it's a little piece of wire uh, to run in here to clean the nipple out every now and then. Um, so anyway, but that's how you shoot, load and shoot a muzzle loading pistol with a percussion lock. Um, and that's this guy right here, percussion lock. So, and I'll probably do a video on my flint lock at some point as well, but, um, Fun little, fun little gun to shoot. Uh, you know, it's real slow to shoot, but a lot of fun to shoot. And, um, yeah, so I'll do a video of me cleaning it later and uh, show you guys how to clean it after you're done shooting. So, hope that was informative. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments.